In this video, we are going to discuss question 10. Find the modulus and argument of z equals to 2i over 1 plus 4i. Hence, you have to express this z in polar form. So, first, we need to simplify our complex number to the standard form first. So, z equals to 2i over 1 plus 4i. When a complex number divides with another complex number, we need to time with its conjugate. So, the conjugate of this denominator will be 1 minus 4i. Simplify it. So, 2i times 1 equals to 2i. Then 2i times negative 4, 2 times negative 4 equals to negative 8, then i square. So remind, when we have complex number, time with its conjugate, z, time with its conjugate, we can perform in the simplest way, which is equals to a square. a square a is equals to 1 then 1 square equals to 1 b square b is equals to 4 then b square will equals to 16 continue simplify i square i square will give back our value equals to negative 1 so finally, our complex number in the standard form will become positive 8 over 17 plus 2 over 17i. So now only we can find our modulus of z, which is square root of a is 8 over 17 square, b is 2 over 17 square. Giving your answer equals to 2 third 17 over 17. Now, we will move on to the second part of the question, which is finding the argument. So, first of all, we need to draw argon diagram for this complex number. So, based on our argon diagram, x axis is our real part then y axis is our imaginary part so 8 over 17 here 2 over 17 so our complex number is in the first quadrant then we're going to find our basic angle Alpha equals to shift tangent or B over A. So our B is 2 over 17 divided by A is 8 over 17 which gives you the answer of the Please write your answer in radian. So please set your calculator mode to radian before you calculate this alpha. So our answer will equal to 0 0.245 radian. So finally, we can move on to answer what is the argument of this complex number, which is theta. So theta in the first quadrant is equals to alpha. So our theta equals to 0 0.245 radian hence hence means after we get all these answer we continue to answer the third part of the question which is express z in polar form so our z in polar form equals to r if r is equal to 2 17 over 17 r which is modulus of z in the bracket of 
cos theta is 0.245 plus i sine theta is 0.245 so cross back the bracket therefore this is our polar form of our complex number